Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the end of June. So from now until the end of June, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This may or may not be for you. And the timing is fluid. What do we have for Leo for the end of June? Wow, that's great. This is a major new beginning. This is the end of one chapter. It's like somebody has graduated. They've learned some sort of lesson. Okay. Um, a new phase is about to start. You guys are traveling down a new road, traveling to a new destination. Uh, one, one lesson, like I said, has been learned. So you can check something off your bucket list, okay, because you're about to start a whole new life in some way. Okay, and it's big. It's big. This is a big phase that has ended in your life. Okay, something that was very prominent. So, you guys have learned a life lesson. That's what we got going on here. And you're about to work on the next one. So, congratulations. All right, you have a major new beginning, like, happening as we speak. You are at the very beginning of a new journey. That's fantastic. You've, you've completed something. You may be, you may be uh, traveling. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're scheduling travel. Maybe you're moving. It's the, whatever is happening. It's like major change. Okay. Major change. You guys have completed something successfully, okay? Now we got somebody who is taking action. This is act now, think later. So you're making a move things are or somebody's coming in this could be you taking action to go in a new direction no longer looking back or this could be somebody coming into your life you know pretty quickly could go either way this could be you this could be you you know moving very quickly obviously in another direction oh oh king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is reluctant to take a new approach. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody. Could be a father. Could be, you know, a masculine. You're in your life, or this could be you that is really focused on their abundance. They're focused on money. They're focused on their job. This is somebody who is very disciplined and controlling, taking control of situations. This is emotional shutdown, okay? It is, unfortunately. The Ace of Cups reversed. Um, shutting down emotionally. So somebody could be shutting down their emotions for a certain situation and just head out. I'm headed out. I'm going someplace else. Um, taking control. You could be you could be living under the control of another person or be trying or somebody could be trying to control you and you're deciding that, you know, you're gonna take your power, you're gonna take back control. And I say that because we have the magician on the bottom of this deck that I used. This is taking back your power. Okay. This is taking action to bring success to your life. Finding the resources within you to bring change in. This is a card of, you know, being willing to shed the old to bring in success. So that's what we got going on here. It looks like you guys are taking action to take control back from somebody that is not fulfilling you emotionally. Um, ooh, you definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um... 
This is an unhealthy situation. Now, this is a card of ego. It's a card of shadow. You know, it's ruled by the shadow side. All is not as it seems. You can't. It's like there's something that you don't know. There's You're being controlled or manipulated or you have been controlled or manipulated or you're, you're tied to some sort of toxic situation that is not fulfilling you. And perhaps that's what you're breaking free from. Now this says that you can break free from this toxic energy at any time. Somebody's taking action. It's like I'm not even going to think about this. I'm just going to do it. So, yeah, somebody has been stuck. They've been in a place of suspension, a place of limbo. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's been keeping you stuck or they've been trying to control you. They may have been playing the martyr, you know. You could be dealing with somebody who um, has a point to prove. You know, they're trying to prove something to you. Or this is you, because this could always go vice versa. Ooh, there's an incompatible partnership here. Whether it's a love relationship, or it's a family dynamic, or it's a work endeavor, whatever. The lover's reversed. There's something that's incompatible. It's just not meant to be. It's not. There's no compatibility here. And I feel like there's another option. And I feel like... You guys have been in a state of limbo and suspension for too long. I think that you realize that you're going to have to struggle through this um, and see things differently and take a new approach. Um, yeah, there's, there's a loss. There's some sort of dead end. There's some sort of betrayal here. Um, this is a liberation. It's breaking free from something. I think that you guys have, have been tied to an unhealthy situation and you are in the process of breaking free. Yeah, you guys have been trapped. It's almost like you've been stuck. But I think that you're going to be putting something to a complete halt. You could be dealing with somebody who's just unreasonable. This person's unreasonable. And I feel like you guys are going to take your power back. This is taking, this is the sort of power, it's the sort of truth. The sort of communication. It's a wake up call. It's an awakening. So somebody is waking up. It's like, you know what? This is a new idea as well. It's like you got this new idea, this new thought, this new uh, awakening. It's like, I, I'm going to take my power back now. I'm taking my power back. That's what I see. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. Now, this is in your approach position. So, yes, you have the power. You have the ability to stand in your power and communicate your truth. So, you may be communicating to somebody this week, you know, what your plans are, that you're taking action. The challenge is this person right here. The challenge is the devil. The challenge is is manipulation the challenge is ego the challenge is pride the challenge is facing this unhealthy situation dealing with it accepting it and this is acceptance as well right now you're focusing on the pain it's painful it's painful to break free from somebody that You may have been fixated on or somebody that has been in your life for a while. But this is a major life lesson here. It is. Ooh, you know, I don't want to fight anymore. There's been bickering. There's been conflicts. There's been upheaval. There's been power struggles and this is I'm going to let go of this ego and I'm going to walk away I just want to be happy so I feel like you guys are walking away or somebody's walking away from you could go vice versa it's not emotionally fulfilling anymore this is a loss this is a loss ugh Jesus and Crow. I haven't said Jesus and Crow very much lately, but Six of Wands reverse. There's no victory here. There's no success here. Somebody doesn't recognize your value. 
or you don't recognize theirs, could go vice versa. There's no victory, okay? And there's a reevaluation needed with these sixes reverse. It's like somebody needs to reevaluate their circumstances, and I think that's what's going on. I think that somebody is reevaluating and realizing that this is realizing, realizing that this isn't practical. This isn't going to lead me anywhere. There's too much conflict. Yeah, you guys may be relocating. You may be relocating. Maybe you're moving. Um, I think it's time. I think there's no growth wherever you've been. I mean, there's no growth. There's, there's no more growth. It's time. It's time for you to receive. Okay, it's time for you to receive. Yeah, this is heartache. This is painful. It's a painful thing, painful situation. The Three of Swords. There could be a breakup. There could be a split. Okay, with this lover's card reversed. Somebody has been reluctant to move on because I think they've invested a quite a bit of time and energy in a situation. And it hurts. It hurts. It hurts to put things to a halt. But I think that you guys are going down a new path. It's like I'm going to I got to do the right thing for me. There's been a loss of excitement wherever you've been. And I think that you guys are beginning to see the light and all that it is practical, right? It's time for me to start over. Even though it isn't going to be pretty, even though it's not going to be easy, I feel like you guys are, you know, finding the ability to take charge and basically take a new avenue. That's what I think we got going on here. You got a new enterprise. And I also feel like you guys have been manifesting something. Even if it's been subconsciously, you've been manifesting a new opportunity. You may have been saving. And now you, now you or you're going to save. And now you've got this, this big, huge opportunity waiting for you to seize it. But it's not going to be easy. And I think that you realize that. Well, the Empress Reverse, this could have to do with Mother. This could have to do with uh, a feminine. The Empress is a feminine. That, ha you know, isn't, is no longer there. This person is not emotionally available. This person is not being a mother, she's, I mean, the Empress in reverse, she's not focusing on her mother duty, motherhood duties, you know, she's not being a good mother, she wasn't a good mother, or she lacks experience in mothering, or she doesn't nurture, she doesn't take care, or she's just not there anymore. And there's a loss, so I'm not sure what this is, but I don't know, maybe there's uh, somebody that is separating from their mother. Um... Just got to be honest with you. Or the mother of their children. Okay. This this could be, you know, going a different route because there's no tender loving care here. There's no nurturing. There's no growth. Judgment. This is awakening. An epiphany. Realizing the truth, accepting the truth. So, and this is also releasing the past. So somebody, and it's right here, they may be releasing the, there could be some, the, the, the Empress in reverse is neglectful. So they, they may be releasing and forgiving and, you know, re, and there could have been some abandonment issues that have held somebody back. I don't know. Anyhow, um, this is releasing the past, forgiving the past, realizing the truth, seeing the truth, waking up, 
some sort of truth being revealed. So some sort of, this is an absolution as well. So I think we have a completion here. I think there's somebody who's been through a really painful situation that has to do with, I don't know if it's with a mother or a father or both or a wife or somebody like that. But I think it's a coming to an end. I think it's because somebody is taking action. I'm not going to sit around. Just, I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I just want to be happy. I'm going to let. I'm going to swallow my pride, and I'm. I'm going to face my ego. I'm going to face my fears because ego is based on fear. I'm going to face my demons and go down this new path, even though it scares me. Alone, alone. It's realizing that whoever this person is. It's like realizing that I got to take action. I can't, you know, I have to build my own abundance now. It's realizing that I got to go my own way. So I feel like you guys are going your own way. <coughs> Excuse me. There could be some sort of uh, communication or truth that gets revealed. Okay, some sort of words may be said that, you know, causes somebody to really step over that finish line and go down that new path. It's like, it's time to go. It's time to go. Somebody is absolutely going their own way. I think that they've been reluctant to do so, but this is like realizing that I don't, need another person to take care of me. I don't need this selfishness. I don't need this uh, toxicity in my life. I can take care of myself. But I think it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time to build yourself back up. And this lesson is about self-worth. It's about self-value. It's about living your best life without relying on another person. That's what this lesson was about. I can take care of myself. I'm strong enough. So I feel like you guys are, are going through some sort of major completion in your life. You've learned some sort of lesson about self-worth, about self-love, about self-sufficiency, about acceptance, about honesty, about truthfulness, about doing what's right for you, about self-love. We have somebody here that hasn't been taking care of themselves. I mean, if you look at both of these cards, there's lack of self-worth here. This message is about self-worth. Somebody didn't know their value. And it could have been because of another person. There may have been abandonment issues from a long time ago, from the past, even a past life, okay? And this, I have to tell you, this just came into my head. Somebody that has passed away, could even be a mother, maybe guiding you, could be a grandmother, could be anybody. I don't know. I think it's a feminine. They could be giving you guidance. They could be helping you from beyond, you know, to face your fears and go your own way. You have the power. You have the power to create whatever you want, to get whatever you want. But you have to take action to bring success. And I feel like that's what you're doing. And I think you do have some divine guidance from the other side, it's like somebody is telling you, it's time to go. It's time to go your own way. And I don't know who this reading is for, but I see you guys taking action. And it's like, it's like an instant decision. I'm not looking back. So that's what I got, Leo. We have a major completion here of something very significant in your life. It was a life lesson about self-worth and value. I think you've learned it. 
So I think there's going to be some truthful, honest communication that comes out. That starts you down that new path. Good luck.